Oh, and the other one we need to do is called Sound with SND Info. Now this one, basically, you can't you can't just go into the decorate and for the uh, sound the sound name you just can't put in DSA DSSA two full or hit I, I forget which one it is but you can't just do that because it won't work you have to define the sound and sound info so what we need is define a name for the sound for decorate to use now a lot of people will do like chainsaw fire or whatever to here I'll, I'll, I'll show you chainsaw fire now the slash it ain't necessary I've seen mods where they'll actually rename the thing like they'll they'll define this as the decorate definition and then they'll name and they'll reference it to the same thing but this kind of helps for like organization so let me just double check something okay yeah that sounds like the fire so let's put d s s a two full whoop oh, this spell full okay now the next one ought to be chainsaw uh hit what it sounds like when you're hitting when you're Sawing into something. Which I can already see right here. D whoop D S S A two hit. No idle You know, w whenever you're not using it, it's just going wah, 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 or whatever. That's the idle sound. So let's just do chainsaw idle and we already see it's right here. D whoop D S S A two idle. Yeah, you like my impersonation of a chainsaw idling. And then the and then the last one, this one is basically when whenever you pull up whenever the chainsaw comes up from the from the bottom of the screen in the uh race state, it sounds like it's firing up. So we need to declare that one too. So chainsaw. I'm just call it up. I'm gonna go with that. D S S. Whoop. A two. Up. And there. You basically defined the sounds into decorate. So now we can go back to that saw line and replace these with. Let's see. Let me let me go back. String full sound. So basic. So basically, when it's attacking. Oh, now if we go back, our full sound was DSSA two full. Chainsaw fire. So we're gonna copy that. Put it right here. We're also gonna put it in quotes. Now this part. What was it? String hit sound. Let's, let's go back to sound info, see what we declared as the hit sound. Okay, right there. Oh, shit. Damn, it's like a copy. Copy. Paste. Okay. The four was our damage. And the last one was the puff type. If you go down here, the puff will spawn to if the attack hits a wall or in Voldemort after. Defaults to bullet puff. And eh, let's just do that anyways. We'll put it in there. Damn it. Now, if you wanted to do a different bullet puff, you'd have to declare another actor uh, replacing it but we're not going to do that right now we're still trying to learn so make sure you save that a few more things we need to do now remember earlier how I said we need to come back to the properties well now we do 
So what we need to do is we need to put a weapon uh, ready sound and a weapon uh, up sound. Let me just find it here real quick. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, wait, wrong ones. Duh, I'm an idiot. Weapons. Ready sound. And we're going to do another one called weapons where is it up sound it's real nice having that thing there I can see why people call it cheating <laughs> but anyways so our ready sound we need to change this to whatever we declared it to in sound info okay idle ready same thing Alright, so copy this. Put in there. The up sound. Same thing. Do do do. Okay. Deselect it, a save changes. Let me just double check some stuff here. Okay. Looks good in the key conf. Decorate. Double check anything. I don't know if I explained it earlier, but select order is basically the priority. You notice how if you run out of ammo in in like if you're using your chain gun and you run out of ammo and if you have a if you have a plasma rifle and a shotgun in your arsenal, you're gonna go to the plasma rifle before you go to the shotgun. Unless your plasma rifle is out of ammo, but whatever. <coughs> so I'm look sorry about that. I'm looking Oh yeah, that's right. I remember now. We need to put another thing in here called. Or we actually, we all all we need is just another function in here. But let's show you something. Let's just name it. It don't matter. D, because it's gonna be invisible. Zero. Now, whenever the whenever the um, duration of a duration of a frame is zero. It's basically it immediate. You don't even see that sprite. So I can, I could even I could even name it something else and it wouldn't show up. But I need to put a refire. Whoop. Refire. Yeah, let me make sure I did that right. Actor flags. Oh functions, my bad. Damn I suck at that. See, I'm still learning just like you guys. Refire. Yeah, I did that right. What refire is, is... Alright, say you got like a minigun or something that has to charge up. Or, you know, has to spin before it starts firing. And then when you stop firing, it it's, it slows down on the spin. Well, when it, like... On the uh, minigun, if, say, if this was like a bullet attack, it would ref... It, whenever refire is called, it goes back to fire. And when when you stop holding down the button, it skips refire and just goes down to like the uh, frames or the minigun spinning slow. But yeah, we might need it right here for the saw. I'm also thinking that this the duration. Whenever you have two like two frames side by side right here, this number goes for both of them. So I'm thinking maybe maybe we ought to change it to two. Now changing this is going to greatly affect how much damage per second this thing's going to do. Cause, I mean, you'll you'll see for yourself if you experiment with it. But I I think that this is pretty much done. So I mean, I'm gonna test it.